The time is now. That's the message coming from Vermont Governor Phil Scott this afternoon as he made his case for why $150 million should be set aside to maximize the funding coming from the federal government. NBC5's Stephen Biddix has more from Montpelier. We want to make sure um, the message is loud and clear. This is very important to me and, uh, and I think that it's important to the state of Vermont. It's important to our economy. With billions of federal dollars heading to Vermont from the bipartisan infrastructure law and the state's record surplus, the Scott administration says now is the time to act. This year we have a record amount of state surplus, which is why I believe it would be wise to dupe, dedicate 150 million of it to guarantee these funds are available when we need it. Governor Scott says the positive financial times the state is in right now won't last forever and not taking advantage of federal matching grants would be a disservice to Vermonters. We will receive a minimum of four federal dollars <clears throat> for every dollar we invest. And in some cases, it's 10 times that amount. And here's the good news. We don't have to worry about where that match will come from because we have the money right now. For example, with a $79 million investment in transportation projects for fiscal years 2024 to 2026, the state would receive a minimum of $341.5 million federal dollars. The Agency of Transportation could use that money on an array of infrastructure projects, but without it? Of 754 projects as of today, 223 transportation projects across Vermont will have their delivery schedules impacted over time. And with Vermont recently receiving a C grade for drinking water on an infrastructure report card, Secretary Julie Moore of the Agency of Natural Resources says a $27 million match from the state would return roughly $320 million from the federal government. Nearly $150 million to support lead service line replacement projects across Vermont, which will improve drinking water quality and more than $40 million during the same time period to address emerging contaminants like PFAS by improving drinking water and wastewater treatment. Scott also recalled times when it wasn't so easy for the state to find money for these matches in years past and reiterating that the time to act is now for the future of Vermont. In Montpelier, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.